from Crosspoint Church on Bel Air Boulevard in the heart of Houston, Texas. It's the Wit and Wisdom at Night Show, starring Jennifer Dennis, her assistant Lauren, and special guest, Allie the Animal Expert. And now, here she is, Jennifer Dennis. Hey, everybody. Welcome. It's so good to have you here with us tonight. We're excited to see you, and I am so happy to be here with my assistant, Landry. Lauren. It's My name is Lauren. It's been Lauren. But yeah, thank you all for tuning in. What do we have planned for tonight? Well, tonight is a world-renowned animal expert. Wow. So what? What makes someone an animal expert exactly? Did she go to like animal school? I don't, but what, how do you do that? You know, and why would you need an expert for every animal? I saw like an hour long special the other day about a spider that eats birds. Like why, is that ever gonna come up in my life? Like who's, why are they studying this? It would have to be really tiny birds. For or sure. really big spider. <laughs> so I'll tell you what, I think that we're going to have to ask this person how they became world renowned. Like do they, is there someone who's making sure it happens? Like how right. do they become world renowned? I'm sure there's something on the internet, you click it and you print out a certificate and it says world renowned. We'll ask her. All right, well, let's ask her. Let's have her right now. All right, everybody, welcome Allie, the animal Hi. expert. Good day, Maeve, how's it gone? Well, I've got one question. How do you become a world-renowned animal expert? Well, that's easy, you just print on your business card. There's not really anyone checking it. I have to get new business cards. I'm going to be a world-renowned talk show host. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm pretty excited. I hear that you've got some animals for us today. Yes, we got the first animal. Are they scary? Um, Are they it's crazy? A little bit. It's a little bit scary. So we've got here, oh, oh we've got a brown bear cub. Gotta be careful with the bear cub. Sometimes uh, the, the ears fall off, that's normal. Uh, so this is a, a brown bear. Brown bears, uh, they're they're fuzzy. Oh, They're have... cute. Would you, like, would you like to hold them? Oh, hello, little, little brown bear. So that's a bear. Oh, hi, that's, little that's bear. That's a real bear, for sure. Yeah, uh, so we have found oh. him. I'm just gonna bounce the little brown bear a yeah, little bit. Yeah, bounce them. So uh, some facts about bear, uh, they uh, they like honey. Um, we gotta make sure that their their ears stay on. So uh, oh, oh. sometimes they shed the fur. That's normal. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, what a friendly little little bear. Yeah, so uh, do you have oh. any questions about the bear? Oh. <gasps> Hello, little bear. Hello, little bear. Mm. All right. <gasps> So it's, a, so it's a real bear. We All found right. it in the wild. All right. Yeah, that's real. So uh, um, they've got they've got tails. Oh. Uh, they they do some cute stuff. Well, that's really exciting. Okay. We got, well, we got in the bear. Hey okay. everybody, let's give a hand to to the little bear. Yeah. Bye, little bear. All right. Bye, little bear. Thank you. All right. Well, that was really exciting. Uh, I I didn't expect a bear to be that personable. Yeah, a bear, it says normal for bears to be like that, yeah. yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. All right, well, I'm ready for the next animal. I'm excited. Yeah, so bring out the next animal. We've got a fruit bat here. Um, they come from the sky. Oh, wow. They, they like to eat, they've got, they've got wings. I don't know if you see that. Would you like, would you like to hold the fruit bat? Sure, sure. Oh. Gentle with his he head. Of course. Uh, did, yeah, it's very cute. It's a cute is this bat. bat wearing a diaper? No, I'm not, I'm not wearing a diaper. That'd be weird. Why would a bat wear a diaper? All so, right. Oh, I think the bat's getting a little fussy. Bats do, you, do get fussy if you don't feed them their uh, the fly. If they don't get their flies, bats do get fussy. Hello, little bat. Hello, little bat. Oh, I just, I, I rarely, you rarely think about snuggling a bat. Yeah, Hello. it's a snuggly bat. Uh, free bats are uh, oh known to be goodness. more snuggly. Oh, well, I can take him back. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Sometimes they get fussy. Okay. All right. Oh, oh. He can, he's going to fly away now. Bye, bat. Here we go. Bye, little okay, bat. Okay, yeah. Oh, he's like a little bat baby. Yeah. One day he'll be like a bat man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can I just be real with you? Yeah. That was, that's obviously not a bat. Oh, it's a bat. That was a bat. And really it was a, it was a bear. All right, so we have one more animal. Yeah, yeah, we got another animal. Oh, yeah. We lost the snake. Oh, uh, yeah, we're just gonna do the two animals today. You don't have any other animal? Nah, nah. All righty then. Uh, why are you sitting like that? I just think it looks kind of cool. Okay. Uh, 
You do know that no one's buying this, right? I'm not selling animals, buying what? Uh, those, that was a baby dressed up in animal costumes. Nah. No, that was, those are animals. I think both of them were the same baby. Nah, I, was it really that obvious? You don't have an Australian accent? Yeah, I'm not Australian. I thought it would sell the bit. I don't, I don't know, but yeah, nope. Yeah, I, but it had you at first, right? No, no, I immediately knew that it was a baby. Oh man. His little head was sticking out of the little bear costume. Well, all right, I thought I tried. Do you even work with animals at all? Well, I do technically, yeah, I, I do work with animals. Here's the thing, my family, they own animals. We're all animal experts, I didn't have a choice, but I'm scared. Scared of what? Oh, I'm scared of everything. Animals, the wind, the dark, Groundhog Day, God, pizza, the mall. Wait, wait, did you just say God? Well, yeah, everyone's scared of God. The Bible specifically says, be scared of God. It's spooky stuff. That's, that's not what that means like at all. Wait, what? That's not what the Bible means when it says fear of God. Well then, what does it mean? You aren't supposed to be scared of the Lord like, ah! you should have reverence for the Lord. It's a different type of fear. In Proverbs 2, verse 5, for example, it tells us that seeking wisdom helps us understand the fear of the Lord. The more we learn about him, the more reverence we have. Not fear, not like, huh. Oh, he scared me. Well, sure. Exactly. So, like, more of a wonder and awe? Yes. But seriously, why are you sitting like that? Well, I don't I don't wanna cause any fear, uh, but we did lose our last animal. You mean you lost your baby? Oh, no, I couldn't find a costume for this one, so we had to bring the actual animal. Oh, well, that's cool, we do have an animal. Well, it's gone. Oh, well, what's the animal? Uh, is, it, is it King Cobra Snake? What, there's a King Cobra, like, lost somewhere in the studio? Oh, I think he's Are over there. I gotta go. Are he's you over kidding there. me? Run for your lives, everybody!